All right. I found this on Core. It was uh, December 2019. So the person who put this, he's a data, this person's a data engineer at Facebook from 2020 to present. So kind of a noob. I don't know if they've done any work before, but I actually read through this and I don't, I don't agree with some of the things that they said here based on my experience going back to uh, 1994. I am a self-taught engineer. If you really want to be an, en an engineer at the highest level, you won't go far without studying CS. Uh, wrong. Here's, here's uh, some of the stuff that I had to go back and learn having not studied CS in university. Again, that's wrong. I know people who have companies that are worth close to a billion who are the CTOs and they don't have a uh, CS degree. So that's, that's false. Data structures and algorithms. Again, you need this knowledge if you're going to engineer software that doesn't fall flat on its face once you have more than 10,000 users. This is categorically false. This is, this is, this is the problem with YouTube. There's a lot of false uh, stuff. Being, uh, I have, Studio Web has way more than 10,000 users, way more, and it has nothing to do with data structures and algorithms. It's just good SQL statements, proper caching. This is, again, this is false. So I just want to point that out. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get annoyed as an ancient nerd, 169 years old. I'm starting to get annoyed with a lot of this false information. A problem solving ability. I'm not talking about copy paste from Stack Overflow. I'm talking about solving problems with your noggin. You need math and logic. No, you don't. Again, that's false. Being knowing Cal Cal two will not help you design a good uh, web app. I'm sorry, it's 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 it's, it's not a false. Fundamental knowledge. This I can agree. Developing even just high level awareness of how computer networks are constructed, for example, is huge. Studying topics like networking, database, operating system, programming language, compilers work wonders on your intuition. Yes and no, you, it, it's a blend of that, but I know what works on your intuition, actually building apps, building software. No, so fundamental knowledge, something I talk about all the time. I teach it very, you know, I talk about if you're doing web apps, you got to understand HTTP and client server model and request response model, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it, it you know, it, it's something you can integrate into an online course if you just know what you're doing. Gaining your engineering spidey sense. This is one of the hard, this one is hard to make concrete, but it's a very real thing. It's something that you can't replace with a bootcamp or just learning to code in JavaScript. It helps you do, it helps you do stuff like debug code better, think more of more edge cases, design systems better, even communicate your thoughts better. This just comes with experience. This just comes with experience. As you write code, that's why I tell people, you want to get out of tutorials as quickly as possible and start building real apps as quickly as possible. If you do that, uh, you will be, get that spidey sense. I call it the nerd eyes. You want to get the nerd eyes. Uh, math Sun, again, this is poppycock for 99% of programming. Uh, you don't need to know linear algebra to write Hello World, but you, math is ubiquitous in terms of modeling problems and giving you vocabulary to describe things. It, 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 again, this is it's not true. For most app developers, this is simply not true. Maybe in uh, you know high-level data sciences, maybe in AI, well, certainly in AI, but the vast majority of programming jobs, math is a non-issue. Math teaches you solve pro hard problems. Well, yeah. So does uh, trying to figure out how to get your kitchen, your kitchen built. Trust me, I'm working on my kitchen right now. And you, you know, what type of marble to put in, uh, what type of um, a cabinet, should I just replace the door, should I replace the entire cabinet? That's a, sol that's a hard problem too. Math teaches you to, to solve hard problems, which is exactly what you're going to do as an engineer. Yeah, but it's not the same kind of problems. It's not the same kind of problems. When you're building... This is guy is an, he's, 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 he's just coming out, he's fresh out of school, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm a huge, uh, what's this? Uh, Laura says, I am so glad you addressed the answer. I discovered that I had to go back to take some math courses to advance as a self-taught dev and made it a huge difference. I began understanding source, sources of things like no, well, no, well, no is this uh, no information there you go now you know the answer undefined meaning you don't define your for example in a variable undefined all that is is that if you in your code you you create if you don't if you call a an object or a variable that has not been created instantiated in code or hasn't been defined in code you get undefined error there you go it's done uh so anyway 
So there's a bunch of stuff here that is newbish. These people, math, unless you're doing very math-specific coding, which is a very rare thing relative to the amount of coding out there, this is nonsense. So any questions I'm going to address? Uh, 